Hi guys. This is gonna be a video on how to read more, how to make reading a priority. A little background, I guess for me, I am someone who I read as a child, but like I wasn't going to the library three to four times a week, you know, borrowing 15 books. I wasn't that type of kid, but I am someone who got back into reading when I was a little bit older. So I started back when I was an undergrad and I've kind of been on this journey for the past three years. So I just have a few tips uh, on how to read more. You've probably heard of these tips, so you know, I don't think I'm really saying anything new, but these are ones that I came up which I think are very crucial to how I was able to make reading a priority in my life. Number one is read what you want. Now, I have a lot of sub tips under this that I will go over, but you would be surprised how many people read what they think they should be reading as opposed to what they're interested in. And for me, it's sad. <laughs> like, it's sad to see that people are reading things that they are like, oh, like, I'll look more smarter if I read this or I'll seem like I have my life together if I read this. I have nothing against self-help and finance, let me just say. <laughs> I'm not coming for y'all, okay? Um, I am someone who used to read self-help and finance books a lot. Um, if you are in that point in your life where you're reading those books, power to you, read them, take the knowledge that you need from them. But I think it's very telling when people read self-help and finance and they're like, ah, oh, well, I don't wanna read fiction because I'm not learning anything from it. Okay. You know you can read a book without really having to gain any knowledge, right? And I mean, I would honestly disagree with this because reading fantasy, I learn a lot about different fantasy worlds. I'm not saying I'll ever be in a fantasy world, but if I, if dragons did exist, if like an apocalypse happened, if I was in a dystopian world, I have learned a thing or two from these books that would help me. But my pro tip, I think it's a very simple one, whatever you like to watch, it's probably what you like to read. So I grew up with Marvel, Hunger Games, Maze Runner, um, Teen Wolf. <laughs> Um, up until like season four, because after that, after Kira left, I was not here for the show. But those type of movies, as well as Pacific Rim, Edge of Tomorrow, uh, I would say Transformers, they are categorized, I feel like, under fantasy, sci-fi, dystopian. So honestly, if you like those type of movies, start with that. Start with fantasy. Start with popular fantasy books. You can never really go wrong with just starting anywhere. And uh, a couple sub tips I have under reading what you want is start with old favorites. So um, even if you haven't read since middle school, like I know there are some people out there that are like, oh, I haven't picked up a book since I was in fifth grade. Perfect. Fine. Start with that middle grade book. Okay. <laughs> if you loved, I don't know, Percy Jackson, start with that series. I don't care if you're 25, if you're 35, if you're 45. Like if that was the last book you read, start with it, read it go from there. I will also say you can DNF books. So DNFing is did not finish. Just because you started a book does not mean you have to finish it. There are some people who are completionists, you know, they start something, they're like, no, I must, I must see this to the end. You do not have to, okay? <laughs> I have become very comfortable with DNFing books. If I am not interested, if the plot is too damn slow for me, if I don't care about any of the characters or the plot, the book is getting put down. And who's to say I won't ever pick it up again? Be comfortable with starting a book and if you're not feeling it, putting it down. Lastly, in this category, I have finding books. So where do you find books? How do you get recommendations? For example, BookTube. If you're watching this video, you probably already watched BookTube, but uh, you have TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. Like there are so many websites to find books on. Reddit, I found some of my favorite series on Reddit, surprisingly. If you're someone who's like, uh, I don't really go on social media. You know, I don't wanna really find my new recs, my new favorite books on social media. Go to your local bookstore. Ask those booksellers there. I'm telling you, they are like aching. They are itching to talk about their favorite books. If you ask like, hey, I'm looking for this in this genre, they'll probably have some sort of recommendation for you. As someone who used to work at a bookstore, I loved, like I absolutely loved when someone would come up to me and be like, hey, I'm getting back into reading. Can you help me out? Like that's literally, that was my favorite question to get, okay? But like go to the bookstores, talk with actual people you will find your next book right there. Number two is reading in different formats. I am a audiobook connoisseur, Natalie Nottis and Emily Wu Zeller. The two of them, if I haven't read every single book that Natalie Nottis has ever recorded or will record by the end of my life, I've done something wrong. Don't be afraid to try audiobooks. Uh, there's also eBooks, physical books, whatever, babe. Like read in every format and read as many books as you want. If you wanna read 10 books at a time, go for it. Try everything out. 
figure out what you want to do and then run with it. Number three, we have getting a library card and downloading Libby, Hoopla, and Kindle ASAP. I previously just mentioned audiobooks and ebooks. Libby and Hoopla are the way to go. Having a physical book with you is not always convenient. Get a library card, walk into your library and do it. Don't go online, interact with people. I know some of y'all do not like to interact. I mean, I don't either. Number four, we have find community. So this is uh, something that whether it's online or not is so very helpful, okay? Cause I know if you are someone who likes to read, after you finished a really good book, you are so excited about it that you're like, I need to speak to someone. I don't care if they haven't read a book. I don't care if they can't even read. Like <laughs> I need to talk to someone about this. You do have booktube, hello. You have book talk. Now book Twitter, I don't have Twitter, but I feel like book Twitter is a hellscape that I don't want to ever enter. So I don't know, <laughs> maybe take your time getting to that one. But bookstagram is also a great option. Like I said, go on Reddit. There are subreddits for people who like books. There's so many things out there. I implore you to check out Silent Book Club. So essentially go on Google, search up Silent Book Club. Uh, it's not just in the US, I think it's worldwide, but you go once a month, you bring your book yourself and you read. It's a perfect thing for people trying to get back into reading, but you're like, oh, like I don't know anyone that reads. Silent Book Club. Everyone there has a book of some sort in their reading. I follow the booktubers who do reading sprints, readathons, reading challenges. Like there are so many ways <laughs> to find a community and to like, fester and grow this love of reading that you're starting to, you know, you're starting to get back into. My fifth and final like main tip is to put your phone down. Put it away, put it away, okay? Like put it in a different room. Leave your phone at home, go to the library and read. <laughs> Cause truly, I don't think I would have read 88 books last year, 81 books the year before and 30 books when I was first getting back into reading in 2021. One, if not for audiobooks and eBooks and two, if I didn't put my phone away. <laughs> and it seems very simple. Cause it's like, okay, like just turn off your phone. But like, I'm telling you, you will read so much more when you put your phone away. Now, if you wanna scroll, if you wanna play video games, go ahead and do it. I don't think you should ever feel forced to read. It is something that you should do and you want to do, but I'm telling you, something's gonna have to give. There's just something you have to cut back on, but it'll feel very difficult when you're beginning because it's obviously a new habit. You're like, ah, I've never read this much in like a day. And you're like, damn, I'm having to do this every day. Don't be too hard on yourself, okay? Just start with your phone, turn it off, find a book that you wanna read, and get into it. Listen to it if you want to. I feel like listening to it is also really helpful. But once your phone is off, I'm telling you, it's honestly the perfect way to not even read more, but do anything more. <laughs> Cause I feel like uh, most of us are on our phones a lot. Those are all the tips that I have. Now, like I said, these are ones that you probably heard before. I will link down below a couple of videos that I have watched that I really enjoyed that I think have helped me. Hopefully they will help you read more, but thank you for watching. Um, if you have any tips about how to read more, how you got back into reading, I mean, if you've been reading since you were like two years old, how you've kept up with it all this time, please leave it in the comments because I, I don't know if you guys know this, but like I am a menace when it comes to commenting. Like when I'm on book talk, I comment so much. I comment all the time and I love it. Now that I've started a booktube channel, I love reading comments. Like I've always been someone who loves to be like in the comment section, like acting a fool, but truthfully, like whenever I get a comment, it makes my day. <laughs> it truly does make my day. So uh, yeah, please don't be afraid to comment and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Shoo.